All right, classify each of the following as a pure substance or a mixture. If it is a mixture, indicate whether it is homogeneous or heterogeneous. First up is rice pudding. Now rice pudding is actually made of many different elements and compounds. So that is going to make rice pudding a mixture. Is it homogeneous though or is it heterogeneous? In other words, does it have uniform composition or is it non-uniform? So looking at rice pudding, you can clearly see with just your eye that the berries there are red. You can maybe see the little pieces of rice and then the pudding that kind of goes in between it all. You can see those different phases, sometimes different colors, and you can clearly see that there are multiple different things there. So that tells you that it is a heterogeneous mixture. If you couldn't tell all that well, we could even zoom in on the molecular level and see the individual atoms and, and compounds. Looking at this particle diagram, I can draw a line in between one kind of particle from another kind of particle. That means that it's not evenly mixed, it's not uniform, and that again would say that this is a heterogeneous mixture. So rice pudding is a heterogeneous mixture. Next up is seawater. Now let's assume that we have 100% uh, seawater or salt water. Salt water is made of both salt and water, two different compounds, so salt water is also a mixture. Now, salt water, if you look at it, it all looks pretty much the same. You can't really tell that there are different things present there. So if we zoomed in and looked at the individual particles of salt water, we would see some water molecules, we would see some salt molecules. So we would uh, again know that it is a mixture of different things, but then looking to see how mixed up they are, we would see that they're evenly spread out, they're evenly mixed. It is all a uniform mixture. So that would mean that salt water is a homogeneous mixture. Okay, third is magnesium. The key here is that magnesium is on your periodic table. It is an element and only having one element would mean that it is a pure substance. If we zoomed in and looked at some magnesium ribbon, looked at the individual atoms of that magnesium, we would only see one type of atom present. We wouldn't see anything else. So that means magnesium is a pure substance, specifically an element. Lastly, crushed ice. So ice is just the solid form of water. So if we are assuming that we have 100% pure water, we would only have one compound. If we zoomed in and looked at water and looked at the individual molecules, we would only see one type of molecule. Okay, water is the same type of molecule so if it's pure water and we only have water, that is a pure substance. And this would be specifically a compound where water consists of one oxygen atom that is bonded to two hydrogen atoms. Okay, there you have it, classifying matter as either a substance or a mixture. And then if it's a mixture, is it a homogeneous mixture or a heterogeneous? All right, if you wanna see another example, click in the top right. Please like this video if it helped you in any way. Feel free to look in the doobly-doo below for additional help and resources. Please subscribe and ring the bell to get notified for new videos. And thank you, thank you so much for watching.